Good morning, this is Mike Falco's Flips. Today we are here at Norcross for a boot sale. We've got two today, it's a Sunday. We've got here and we've got another one down the way. Not the biggest one in the area, that is still closed. I think it's now been about a month since it was last open. And I really was hoping it would be open this weekend, but the field's just not quite dry enough. They had a big flood and yeah, it, it was saturated, so. Saturated is an understatement. It looked like a massive lake in the Lake District, let's just say that, just a couple of weeks ago, or three weeks ago. So, that's where we're at. I'm just looking here now, and I thought it was going to be crazy busy today. I mean, there are a lot of people queuing up to get in, but so far, I mean, I'm here early, and I'm doing the early buy-in. It's 20 past six. I thought I was a bit late getting here today, but there's only about four or five people actually on the field first field so far so we're not late at all today i can kind of relax a little bit anyway i can see a few people in there now just kind of hanging around waiting for people to come in so let's get in there let's see if we can find some unique and rare items today to resell for a profit on ebay let's go file coast flicks <laughs> How much are the ones in it? The Schleich toys. Um, they're just random um, for price. Yeah. It, um, I do want rid of them. You know, some of them like five, six pounds, like seventeen pound in Smith stuff. Right, right. Um, depending which ones you want. If you... Is it like five, five or six of the bigger ones? Is it? Yeah. Or, yeah. yeah. Do you want to like do a price on the lot and just kind of do the lot or do you have to like kind of maximize I mean, in your... It's, um, I could probably do oh, 80 for the lot. 80, right. I mean, there's probably like, I know you know, if you know Sleech, you know there's probably like 300 pound <laughs> retail. Yeah. Um, I'll just to pick a few out if that's yeah, right. Yeah, is no, that okay? okay? And I'll yeah, just yeah. have a look. Yeah. Cheers, thank you. Yeah. We do on these ones then. They're just the dinosaurs. All the dinosaurs. I don't think there's any other dinosaurs in there, as far as I can see. Is it just these ones? Yeah. I don't think it's 30. 25. 25. I got an idea. Cheers, mate. Thank you. No. So it's another case of yes i could have made a bit of money there there would have been a bit of profit but it's just not worth it i don't think those the newish light toys are not quite worth what they used to be i find that like the older kind of vintage ones seem to hold a little bit more money i've just been away to the lake district and like there's somewhere selling them then and like for small ones you, you can get them now for about five or six quid each so that's my thinking behind that people say that they like it when i kind of explain exactly why i do and i don't and there you go that's why on that one we do a pound yeah. oh, thank you how much on that please I'll take it, thank you. Yeah, like look at the, the picture on the background. Yeah. Very, very vintage, what, 80s I reckon? Maybe 90s. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. 
you do? Sorry, uh, would you do the wheel for 50p as yeah. well? That goes goes with that game. But um, so 50, one pound, two, three pounds. Yeah. Thank you. At last, I find some games at the boot sale. I never find games anymore that are worth anything anyway. Not that these are worth a huge amount. How was your decorations down here? That was a £5 one. It's never too early for Christmas stuff if you ask me. I don't think so. Do you three of them at all? Do you three? Yeah. Is that okay? Yeah. Thank you. So I was doing really well in the first field, so I've kind of neglected everyone coming in here. Pardon? How much are your Furby? Furbies? Um, so if I take a look. We have another one somewhere. Do you know if he's working? Uh, we assume he is. Yeah. Um, so I think it might have a bit of like battery corrosion. I think the batteries might still be in it, but but three quid, and I'll, I'll take the chance. I'll try and get it working if I can. And okay, I knew it. Let me get the rainbow bird out. Yeah, if it's the same as this, I'd I'd, I'd buy it. But I but no pressure. I'll come yeah. back round and if you got it, you got it. Right. Oh, we have it. We just. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Mini Dad. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. I'm, you need to sell my hinges today. The gesticulating hinges, wasn't yeah. it? How much are your hinges? I don't need hinges, but. <laughs> no, I know. I don't. I don't. Aww, I know. Joke. <laughs> Nobody ever buys my galvanised hinges. <laughs> And we you need to do like a big sign, galvanised hinges. hinges. Get, your Get like a megaphone or something yeah, yeah, and yeah. shout it out. Several of the boxes over there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. 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 How much are all your Leo. bits Paint in there? Are five, I'm a quid. Right. I, and I say the unpainted, I mean the ones that don't look like half decent painted. Well, better than what I could have done back well, in the day. Yeah, I... Maybe, yeah. All oh, right. I'll be back in a second. Will you do the same on that, or was you after a bit more on that? Uh, or... Same on that, we're fine. Thank you. The reason I didn't go for them is because there is bits missing off a lot of them. How much is your pig, please? Huh? Yeah. How much is your pig? Two. Two. Yeah, it's unusual in the red, isn't it? Red and yeah. black. Want to watch. Yeah. Any money in? Any money? <laughs> uh, unfortunately not. Yeah, I'll take him, please. Thank you. I'll just take that one, please. One, two, three, four, five. Excellent. Cheers. Okay. How much are these? The pound each. Usual, isn't it? Like a little whistle. No. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
And they've got the Thomas books as well, haven't they? Yeah. They're pound each as well. Did you do two for three on them? Yeah. If I took them all? Yeah. Have you got any more or is it just them? No, just them. Uh. Uh, it's, it's from the course around it, isn't it? Yeah. I think you're supposed to say to it when you're squashing. Okay. Unless it's his hand. Yeah. Yeah, it is. It's a bit of a classic about the old course. Yeah. <laughs> do a couple of quid on him. So, Halfway? Uh, three quid? Yeah, go on. Yeah. All right. Cups here, please. These two. Those two. Yeah. Both three. Right. Is that from? That's from Universal. Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah, it's from Universal. Yeah. Is that is that from Disney that's Park? That's from Disney. Or? Yeah. That is from Animal Kingdom. All oh, right. Yeah. Never been. It's amazing. Yeah, I'll take them, please. We're thinking of going next year. Oh, it's and amazing. And so I. Oh, absolutely amazing. Some people say wait until they're a little bit older. Mine are eight and five. Some, oh, no, some, I think some yeah. yeah, some people like go early, go early, and and then you can go again. My oldest was twenty-four, and it was the first time we've been, and it was amazing. Yeah. Age, so, yeah. How much on these? You got two of them. Yeah. Thank you. Oh. I've never seen the ones with a fan on as well. Oh yeah, cool. There you go. Thank you. So I do that for just £2 a month, got one side of them. Right. I've not heard of them before. Whiskies, whiskies. How much for, for the lot if I bought both things and all the bits? It's £5 for the two things together, so I'll do eight for all of it. Yeah, I'll do that please, thank you. Is there a pound for that? I'll take yeah. it. Thank you. I like my Disney stuff, as you can so as you can well. tell. <laughs> tell we do as well. Thank you. Thank you. So I've had to come back to the car because that was getting too heavy. I know everyone out there is going to be saying, "Well, get a trolley." I don't like a trolley. I just don't. I think it slows you down. I mean, yes, you could argue that coming back to the car right now is slowing me down, and you could argue that me standing here and saying this is also slowing me down. But you know, it is what it is. But anyway, this is what we've got so far. Some decent bits amongst this. We've got this here. I have no idea on this. I've seen a couple of people do well with these before, but I really have no idea at all. What's it called? Mo, is it Mojang? Mojang? But that's all I know. I don't know if they're all here. I don't know how old it is. It looks like it's got some age to me, maybe 80s, possibly 70s, but I'm not sure. But five quid, I thought I'd give it a go. And these two, got two of these and a load of figures. Is, I have no idea what these are. I really don't. I don't even know if they're like a legit thing or not. But we will soon see when we get home and have a look into it. And check this out. I know this isn't Lego, but it's for my kids. They'll love that. We're doing like a little kind of street at the moment with shops and stuff on it. This is like the miniature version, but even so, yeah, kind of cool. Lots more bits, but I'm going to get back in there for another round and then we're going to head off to the next boot sale. So yeah, we're not onto three fields today or anything like that. Still a good turnout though. It is threatening to rain, but then you can see by the sky and how dark it is. But 
it's not done. It's not been much rain so far. Yeah. God, that's got to be worth something, hasn't it? That's an old and original, isn't it? Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? Isn't it? Yeah. Nicky, you didn't see that, look. A uh, couple of quid. Yep. Oh, oh, it's raining. It is raining, yeah. How much is that? Uh, what is it? Um, uh, a pound. Okay. Set with it as well. How much are they? Quid? Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Is nice. A bit of dent there. Oh, dent gone. <laughs> yeah, for 50p, why not? I'll just that, please. How much is the tin of the biscuit? 50p is on, on, yeah. on oh, down there. Yeah, too low down there, no. Ned. I know. <laughs> Someone's just told me to change all the characters at hate. How much on that? Five. Five. Tazos in there. Oh. Slammers. Uh, yeah. Right, so I'm back to the car and the battery ran out. Don't worry, I've got another one for the next boot sale. But just last minute then, I got a few things. I got these, two of these for a pound each. Possibly to sell, possibly to keep. Got a pointless brand new sealed board game for, what was it, two quid. I think I got all that on video, but I didn't get these books. I got a load of like witchcraft and alchemy and the occult and all that kind of style books plus a world war ii kind of book with loads of like rep booker ration books and all that kind of stuff i've done well with them before uh, check this out how cool is this vintage wow well, vintage ish 90s is it it's got the 90s on it early 2000s maybe any date so there we go 2004 almost vintage almost right let's head to the next boot sale i'm going to be getting there for what five past nine so a couple of hours after it's opened, but that's all right. Let's get there and see what we can find. How much are your jars there, please? About five pound each, or three for the twelve. They're all uh, yeah. there. Okay. No, no chips on them or anything. Do you ten? Ten. Thanks. Yeah. yeah. Is that all right? Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. 
do it. Shoot, shoot that. Oh, oh, yeah. I, I kind of, yeah. That there. And then, if, see, with the paper being there, it's not going to chip it. No. That's how that I tied them, anyhow. Yeah. Good. Just in a bag, in Excellent. the car. That's great. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay, Thank you. I was going to say, I've not really bought many ceramics or anything today, but there we go. Got my three jars. I'm happy now. I've looked in the, I've looked online and I found, um, I've looked online and I found a couple of twos. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, you need to buy two. Come up here. Out the way. Yeah, I really, really like that bag, but big hole in it. Yes, I could have sewn it up and sold it and probably made a few quid, but it's not a lot of time for things like that these days, not really. Cool. <laughs> I saved that especially for you. BBC Radio 2. I just picked up a BBC Radio 1 like 21st um, road That's show. Bruce. That's Ken Bruce. Or something. Yeah. I had a tray that was Ken Bruce. Right. Um, just like a melamine tray. It's a properly, oh, proper, yeah, yeah, proper yeah, official yeah. one though. That went for about 35 quid. And I, th I think that went to like oh, a yeah, TV yeah. studio or something. So, oh, amazing, you know. Yeah. It's a pity about the damage, isn't it? But yeah, it's uh, even so. It's still. I mean, good thing it's not noticeable. No, I but mean, yeah, you know, it's if good. you're going to buy it, you'd probably buy it to display it, wouldn't you? Yeah, you're yeah. not going to use it, so it's one of them, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. How's it been today? Is it been right? uh, not too bad. First time for quite a long time. Um, yeah, I know it's been so long, hasn't it? Um, how much? How much you want on that? A couple of quid. That's quite nice, isn't it? That design. I've never seen that before. Called it tin mine. Oh, all right. The okay. wheel. Yeah. With with a A. Yeah. A wheel with an A. Wheel with an A. Yeah. Uh, is it a set or is it just the teapot? Is it just the singular teapot? Is it? Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. How much on that? A couple of quid again. Just because I've never never seen it before, so yeah. I don't know. I've yeah. sold them in the past, I'm... you know, on eBay. When it's something new and I've not seen it like that, yeah. I really like that. So I have the paper as well, just to protect uh, it. Cause well, I've... that's uh, four quid for the paper. <laughs> <laughs> 350. <laughs> YouTube channel where I go around you know finding stuff and think like I don't know bargain hunt but not quite the budget <laughs> but yeah I just you know docu document my buying and selling and stuff online and everything how much is that? Yeah. Oh, that one. 
spot. Wow. Ta, thank Cheers. you. What is this? VHS tape storage. It's quite heavy. Yes. Mm. How much is that? Thank you. Take it. <laughs> I just wanted the case really, yeah, so I was like, was well, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, I was prepared to say, well, how much just for the case? But <laughs> it's more expensive just for the case. Yeah. <laughs> Shame about his face. Today? 15. Would you do three for the two base plates? There's a one here for or the smaller one, yeah. reg, reg, regular Lego. Uh, yeah. Would you do? Is that okay? Thank you. Thank you. Um, yeah, take it. It's all for charity, all donations go to charity. Right. I'll take that, please. Yep. Thank you. Yeah, you're I, I, I mean, I'm going to get out, luckily, yeah. well, if, but like, you can get out, yeah, can get I'll quick, yeah, oh, are you stuck as well? Yeah, so, yeah, I'll be quick. Yeah. That's true. Hey guys, so I had to get out of there quick because there was two people blocked in and it wasn't me who blocked them in, but by me moving, they could then get out and they'd, God knows how long they'd been sat there for waiting to get out of that boot sale. But other people had just come in right behind and parked right behind them. But yes, um, didn't get a chance to kind of show you what I bought then, but we'll have a look when I get home in just a moment. So just a sec, we'll be back. We'll take a good look at everything. It's a little bit later on now and I'm home and I've just been through some of the stuff that we bought here. I've not looked everything up, but I've looked up a few things that I weren't too sure about. And I've got a couple of things I'm going to look up with you guys in just a moment. So let's take a look. Let's start with a possible fail because, yeah, just let's get it out of the way. Uh, this here, this Zuzu Pets, I'm not sure about this. These two, I think, are okay. But this, I think this is fake. I'm pretty sure it's fake. You probably can't tell through the camera. I don't know, maybe you can, but just the quality of the print of the picture is not right. It's just not right. I found the same one out there. And it's very similar, but it's got slight differences in the packaging. Which is a shame because it's brand new sealed and if it was like the legit thing, it would have been worth an all right amount. I only paid a pound for it, but I just don't think it is. I don't know. I might have to open it up and have a good look over it and just see what do you guys think? I don't know how much you're going to be able to tell, but if you can tell anything, if you've picked this kind of thing up before, what do you think? Like why? Why would this picture here be so kind of blurry and a bit weird looking? Same on the back. 
like the the actual text and everything is absolutely fine like the logo there is absolutely fine it's something it's just the pictures like yeah i don't know let me know what you think i'm not going to list this i'm going to wait until you, till you guys let me know what you think and cheers mate for selling me these friend of mine sold me these two port Marion pieces they're matching a vanity set bowl and plate a bowl and plate bowl and jug even and it's the botanic garden yeah i don't know i don't usually pick up like these particular items of port Marion. i don't usually see them to be honest but he did me a you know, a decent deal, 15 quid is all right. I, I'm only going to get about 40 quid plus postage. So after fees and everything, I'm going to basically double my money, which is which is okay. If it wasn't fragile, you know, it'd be all right. It'd be better. Like the fact that it's fragile, I like to kind of more than double my money on these things if I can. But he did me a good deal. And he also he'd saved this for me. He knew I'd like this. And, and I do. I really, really like this. The problem is it is damaged. You let me have it for two quid. It's not going to have much resale value in the, this, but it is very unique. You know, Radio 2, Ken Bruce. I like all this old like BBC Radio memorabilia. I've had a few bits now that have done quite well. And then under here we have these. And I knew as soon as I saw these that they were good quality. I hadn't heard of the brand before or anything. I'll show you guys now. This is my favourite one, this one. It's this brand right here. The Thomas Kincaid Santa Collection. So Thomas Kincaid. And it seems to be very popular in, in America from what I can see. Someone has a set like this up from America for about £37 plus postage. Couldn't find too many solds, but there's quite a lot of people trying to sell this particular one by itself. I've obviously got a set of three here and the original polystyrene, but obviously they don't have the outer box. Next is this Disney World bag towel combo. It's like a towel and a bag in one. Proper Disney branded, Disney uh, Walt Disney World. And pound is all it was. Not looked at the resale value on that, but it'll be worth more than a pound. It's in good condition, everything. Got two of these bottles and these are from the same person as that. In fact, I bought a few things from her. Uh, these are quite good. I've had these before that are not the fan type, but I know of the fan type because when I was looking up my other ones that I've had in the past that had just been the spray bottles, these have always come up and these are the more popular ones. You put your water in like a, any other spray bottle and it comes out of there and you put the fan on and it kind of sprays like a mist. Very good if you're having a particularly warm day. We've not had many warm days here in the UK recently, so I don't think I'll be using this anytime soon. Uh, this surprised me a little bit. This is brand new sealed and these brand new sealed go a lot better than they do pre-owned and 25 to 30 quid that's all right I, I only paid three i think for this got this here probably shouldn't bother with this to be honest i just i love a bit of regrets it was only 50p it's a primark thing i didn't realize that when i bought it but i don't think that matters too much it was only 50p so just a nice design should go for a few quid uh, this was also from the person I got the other Disney stuff from. Another Primark thing, I think. Is it Primark? Yeah, I think it is. 50p, still has its tags. We'll be able to, you know, class this as new with tags. Uh, check these out. I'd never heard of these before. Wickies. Is that how you say it? Wickies. It's like a dispenser, like a almost like a gumball kind of dispenser. And you get these little uh, toys here. That go in it i've never heard of them i'm sure a lot of people out there probably have but i never had so i thought i'd give them a go at the right price she she did the lot for eight quid which is all right i think i can't find many people out there actually with these boxed i mean they're up they're pre-owned but the only ones i could find were used and people asking anywhere from like 12 to 17 pounds plus postage on them but none sold but only three listed i think two or three listed none sold uh other things are sold, just not the dispensers. Like these, if there's a few of these sold out there, and like bundles of the little characters and stuff, so they will go. I think. I think they'll be a good Christmas thing. I'll, you know, split them up, sell them separately with the figures. Check these out, Laura Ashley set of six floral tea lights. I thought my partner would really like these and we wanted to keep them, but she took one look at them and she was like, uh, "No, <laughs> I don't know." I don't know, I'm usually quite good at like buying like gifts and stuff, or at least I think I am, I hope I am. 
Um, but obviously I don't always get it right and uh, this is a case of that. Um, yeah, I mean, I didn't get them for Claire as a gift or anything, but I just, I just thought she would be like, oh yes, I love them. But no, she was like, uh, no, thank you. No, thank you. <laughs> I don't know. I think they're nice. Anybody agree with me? I think they're nice. Somebody has got them up for sale for about £12 plus post postage and we paid, was it a pound for them? So they are brand new in the box. So we can make a quick tenner on them. Also got this off my friend who did me these two and he did that for two pounds. I really like this, something about this. Don't know what it is, but the design of it, I really, really like. There's only one out there that I can find and they're asking 25 pounds plus postage. For two quid, I think that'll do okay. If we can get 20 quid or anything like that, that'll be good. And these right here are from the same seller who I bought this off for my kids. It's just like a little mini set. Madonald, not McDonald's, not McDonald's. Madonald's, yes, but I didn't care. I, I just thought, you know, it's five quid and it will just go with what we've got going on upstairs. We've got like a little kind of street going on or we will have, uh, we've not done much of it yet, but it's the same kind of size as the, you know, those little mini, uh, like the mini bakery, you know, like a mini Toys R Us store and all that that I've got in previous videos. It's the same size as that. And yeah, I'll put that with this and make a you know mini version of a street. We're gonna have an actual like larger Lego street going on soon. So I got these from the same people and the only reason I got them is because they have this little whistle here and I'm looking out there and I can't find anybody out there with this DVD with the whistle. I found somebody selling, just the one person selling just the whistle by itself. It was abroad and I think it was like eight or 10 pounds best offer accepted so who knows what they actually got for it but that was just for the whistle the actual dvd is only worth about like two three pounds or something not very much but i got these for uh, three for two pounds and it's the fact that it's got this whistle that's why it's actually worth picking up i think i think these will do okay i'm just gonna obviously like do a close-up of that whistle see if i can find like a stock photograph out there maybe um and use that as like the selling point on these and i think they'll go it's a good like little christmas gift isn't it I'll check this out i really like this here and then they translate this for me run top i know run toff is like rum pot i think what's what's run toff lee What's the flea, flea bit? I don't know. Anyway, I like the look of it. It's only a pound. And then in the background, we've got an Action Man little water blaster and shower gel set. Almost vintage. I think it was like 2004 or something like that. And I think it was originally from Boots looking at it. Couldn't find this one out there, so I'm not sure how much it's worth, but I only paid 50p for it. Same with that. It's got a bit of age in it as well, and it's Hot Wheels, so I figured I'd give it a go. I've not looked it up or anything. Now, these two here, paid a pound each for them. They're just like, uh, you peel the the backing off, stick it down, and you can attach your Lego, much like shown right here. To be honest, I don't think you'd be able to do it like that. From the ones we've had, I don't think you'd be able to put anything upside down like that. Uh, it's not quite strong enough to do that with, but they're still pretty good uh, for just like a level surface. They they work quite well and pound each and they should go for about 10 to 12 pounds each. There's a few solds out there. The prices are quite varied on them, but if I stick them up at like 10 quid plus postage, I'm pretty sure they'll go pretty much straight away. I check this out here, like vintage St. Michael's set, like little kids set, like plate, bowl and cup. Looks brand new, vintage, I'd say 90s, I reckon. Look at that. Just see if there's a date. Oh, yeah, there we go, 1998. So, yeah, good, good amount of years. And now it's like 25 years ago. Not sure how much that I go for. Stuff like this is always random. There's not going to be anybody else out there selling this. Very, very unlikely. So, I'll aim kind of, I reckon like 20, 25. I'll try that, see what happens. Got a random biscuit tin there, it was only 50p. Nice Christmas design, I think it's from the Netherlands originally. It might be like a Netto thing or a Lidl thing, something like that, I'm not sure. And this pointless game here is brand new seal, that's the only reason why I picked it up. It should go for about 12 pounds, maybe 15 coming towards Christmas. So pay two into 12 to 15, just about worthwhile. Got this Lurpak butter dish here. I don't usually pick these up. I see them everywhere, as I'm sure most people do. 
out there. I always see them at the boot sales. Usually they're damaged or they're just overpriced. Uh, this one is still in its box. The box is obviously very worn around the edges, but it's unused. It's in really good condition and it was only three pounds. So I should get about 15 for this like this. So just about worthwhile plus postage. And this surprised me a little bit. I don't know. It was only 20p. I got this when I got this, I think. This was uh, 20p as well. And then this was 20p. So I was just like, uh, yeah, go on. We'll, we'll do that. Uh, ham Taro. Howdy Ham Ham. Yes. I, somebody's actually managed to sell one of these for about, I think it was about 18 quid or something. I was like, really? Really? Didn't expect anybody to get quite that much. There's a couple out there for sale, not up for that much, but I don't think the new tags like mine is, so I don't know. We'll see. I'm probably not going to get 18 quid, but if I can get a tenner, that's all right, right? 20p into a tenner plus postage. We'll have that. And then recently, you probably noticed I've been picking up quite a few of these bubble baths, and they're quite hit and miss. Some of them do better than others. I sold that Sonic one. That went for a decent amount. I've sold a few others as well from that big bundle I got. Quite a lot of interest in a lot of them. And yeah, this one cannot find a Sesame Street foam bath like at all like this. Um, none. None were coming up, which I found slightly odd. Maybe I'm searching the wrong thing. I don't know. But yeah, couldn't find any out there after a quick look. Got this Corsa come on guy here. Unfortunately, he's not working. I did realize that before I bought it. And I, I think I paid, I paid three or four quid for it. Either way, that's probably not really worth it, to be honest. If he was working, it would have been. But like this, unworking. Somebody else still have him. And it's, you know, these toys do go. Um, but every time I bought them, they seem to be coming down in price a little bit. So I reckon I can get still get a tenner plus postage. So, you know, we are going to make a profit. Just, yeah, don't know. Next time. If it's like this and it's not working, I'll probably leave it unless it's like a nice set of four or five or however many they did. I only paid a pound for this, not two. It's only a small one, but for a pound, still worthwhile. These two here from Disney. I know this one's from Disney. This is from, where did she say it's from? Uh, the Animal Park. What's it? Animal Kingdom. She said it's from. pound fifty, And then this one, pound fifty as well. This is from Universal just nice they actually had an alton towers one there as well which i think i probably should have bought because i think if you buy it if it's the right one anyway you can then uh, get like cheap drinks or something i don't know I, I didn't quite realize i should know the amount of times i've been to alton towers recently but yeah anyway doesn't matter what i've got here is good they should go okay Finally found a little stack of video games at a boot sale. The amount of boot sales I've gone to recently, I've not really found many video games. I do tend to find like the odd PC big box game now and again, and just the odd kind of one game here, one game there. I don't usually find like a little stack like this. Mario Kart, Wii Sports Resort, New Super Mario Bros, Ghostbusters, and Just Dance 4, plus a wheel. It's 50p a piece. Mario Kart is what? £12 game-ish, sports resort, eight. That's about eight. That's about eight. And that's about six, I think, thereabouts. So we've done well. 50p a piece. That will do nicely. Down here, we've got three what looks like Pearson's jars. I've never seen them in this shape before. That says sugar on it, that, even though it's, like, large like that. That's flour. That's cookies. Nice little set. A bit of an unusual set just because of the size of them. I'm not quite sure if I'll, you know, I probably will sell them all together. So they're not Pearson's, they're another brand, which on every single one of them, it's a little bit unclear. I know you can see it quite well on that. Moira. Is that Moira made in England? I have heard of that. Don't know if it's as good as Pearson's. It's very, very similar to Pearson's. Uh, this right here I thought was nice. It was only a pound. It's got a load of VHSs in. I weren't really bothered about the VHSs. But somebody's trying to get for a set of VHSs and this case, somebody's trying to get £45. I don't think they're going to do it, but you never know. Maybe they will, but they've got a couple of rare VHSs in there. I don't know. I didn't look that far. But for a pound, worth a go. We've got a couple of Furbies. We've got this one and this one. I don't pick these up very often. I don't see them very often. Often when I do see them, they are corroded in the battery compartment. 
or people are asking like way too much for them. I didn't pay five for them, I paid three pounds each. And this one's worth about 18 to 20, and that one's worth about 15 to 18, uh, plus postage as long as they're working. Got a big red pig here. It was only two quid. It does have a little bit of damage there to the tail. I did realize that, but I did it anyway for two quid. I've never seen a big red one like this before, so I thought it was worthwhile. Still has its stopper and everything. It doesn't have a, ma a maker's mark, but these pigs rarely ever do. This is very cool. I love Bethesda stuff, Fallout, Skyrim, you know, the Elder Scrolls games, and obviously Starfield, if you hadn't noticed. Yes, the hat. And yeah, love it all, only two quid. This only resells for about 10 quid. But I kind of bought it for myself, but I think I will inevitably sell it on once I've finished with it. I think we've pretty much covered everything. Did I mention this one? She's from Furchester Hotel, Phoebe. She was a pound and somebody recently got 15 quid, but more often than not, they only go to for about tenner. But that's okay, Furchester Hotel. My kids used to love that. And also this Duplo board there, I got three pounds for that. And I got this kind of thrown in as well. This is for us to keep and this is to resell. Sells, resells for about a tenner, something like that. It's, so by itself, it wasn't really worth it. That's why I wanted to get this thrown in as well. And it kind of makes it worthwhile. Right, have I covered everything apart from these dinosaurs? I think I have, I think I have. Oh no, the books, which we'll get to in a minute. I'm going to take a bit of a closer look at them. I've not looked at them yet at all, so I don't know if there's any money in them or not. I'm going to look at them with you in a second. Plus, I've got a load of pogs here as well. Anybody remember pogs? We'll have a quick look at them as well as the books. Oh, and potentially, possibly, maybe the best purchase of the day, possibly, I don't know, is, is what's in this, which is actually a chocolate box i believe it's an old chocolate box but inside there is a game which i will show you in a second i don't know i have no idea with these whether what i have here is valuable or not so you'll have to help me on that one in just a second so we'll look at that we'll look at the pogs and we'll look at these books in just a moment uh, but first i just wanted to mention these schleich toys i bought them off somebody who had loads of them i'm sure i got that on camera i did in fact i went back to him for a second time i don't know if i got the second time on camera but later on in the boot sale shortly before i was leaving i went back and see to see if he would do me an offer a you know, deal on what he had left um but he, he really didn't want to come down in price which i get a few of them were a little bit kind of rough around the edges though what he had and there was a lot of the smaller ones which are really not worth that much you know, this is what you want if you look. If you're going out there looking for Schleich, these dinosaurs like this are still worth good money. Uh, the old vintage ones can be worth more if you've got like unusual ones that they don't make anymore. They, you know, I've had a few in the past that have done really well, but these are pretty good actually. I've had a quick look up at this one. This is a Brachiosaurus, and not many out there new, but the ones that I found that were pre-owned going for like. You know, 12 to 15 thereabouts so new like this maybe up to 20 not sure and i would imagine i've not looked into these yet i wasn't quite sure what that was i mean these are t-rexes and then i've got a couple more somewhere there's that one there's another one i uh, paid uh what just over four pounds per dinosaur what would you have done would you have bought all of what he had for the kind of prices he was saying i was tempted but it was just a little bit too much for me so here are all the like witchcraft slash alchemy panorama. So here we have a load of books, witchcraft, alchemy, the afterlife, like gods and demons, psychic powers, pa paranormal, all sorts of like different stuff, but kind of on the same kind of um, subject ish, you know, kind of. But yeah, out of all of this, I'm going to call it now that I think either this one or well, this one will be the most valuable. That's without looking them up at all. I'm gonna look them all up now with you guys very quickly. I'm gonna scan them in. I'm gonna just rely on that for now. I could type it in. You, you know, you're best typing it in to get an accurate amount of how much it's really worth. But for now, for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna just scan everything in using the eBay app and the barcode. Okay, so I've set you up just like this. Let's go. 
three pounds 27 not a good start and when it's like this i'm not going to look at the solds because the solds are going to be very little if there's if they're selling them for three pounds 27 there's not even any point looking at the, the solds like if i was in a shop scanning through books i would put this one back but it's okay that's fine i just grabbed them all 50p ago Right, this one doesn't have a barcode no so i'm gonna have to search this one okay so this one four pounds 31 in three thirty four eight pounds yeah so not a lot on that one yeah, you gotta remember i've only paid five pounds 15 total for all of these so we only need a couple of them to kind of come in at a decent price okay so this one's obviously rarer so only two coming up Eleven pounds seventy-eight from America, and that's one. That one's from America as well. This one I'm not finding out there, apart from the two that came up when I scanned in the barcode. So I might be to ask a little bit more for this, like just being possibly like the only person in the UK with it. Three, four pounds in on that one. History of Supernatural. Yeah, not a lot on that one either. That somebody's asking like twenty-six pounds thirty-nine there. They're never going to get it. Lots up not a lot of money on that the world of the paranormal nope nope right so these are the three this one and the next two that i thought would have the most money in them so let's try these out alchemy that's more like it yeah i knew there'd be a bit in this i don't know why alchemy i'm sure i've had something to do with alchemy before in the past and yeah let's actually look at the solds though because although you know that's 100 quid that's too much like 25 24 31 that's probably more like it if i go on to the sold listings one sold 1964 from the usa load of postage uh, best offer accepted so yeah maybe not like a crazy amount of demand for it but i'm going to be one of the few people in the uk with it the Illustrated Guide to Witchcraft. Let's have a look. Oh, no, nope, I was wrong about that one. That's not worth much. I mean, these will be worth something like bulk, bulked up because they're all the same kind of thing. That's That was always the plan anyway. I just hoped that, you know, I thought that one or two of them might have been worth a lot by itself. So far, only this one's worth selling by itself. The others will be lotted up and sold as a bundle. And then lastly, the unexplained file, cult and occult. Let's have a look. Please be worth some at this one. I've had a very similar looking book to this last year that sold for good money. All right, so there is no barcode on this one. So I'll have to type this one in. Bear me one sec. I don't seem to be able to find this one. Let me go off sold dust and... There we go. Yes, see, I knew. I knew there'd be a little bit of money in this one. Last one to have sold, 21st of July. Went for £47.50 plus load of postage. And, um, yeah, that was the last one. The others have gone for less. You know, 20 there, but they've not got the cover. 30 plus postage, 17 plus postage, 10 plus postage, 20 plus postage. I think the main thing here is that there are a lot of people after this book, the cult and the occult, should I um uh should I be worried about that? I don't know. <laughs> 50 quid, 40 quid, 21, 51, 30. Do you know what I mean? There's a lot of people after this book. But yeah, between that one and that one, hopefully we can make what 40, 50 quid, you know, clear profit. Yeah, I know some people will be like, well, why didn't you just pick the ones that you thought were going to be okay out? The thing is, like, you just, you don't really know. I mean, you, you, I'm not an expert on witchcraft and the occult, do you know what I mean? I, I see these things and I think, I know there's a little bit of money, but I'm not quite sure how much. But if you're picking them up for, like, like I've done for 50p a book, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. Just buy them, think about it later when it's that cheap. I don't want to be there researching them all, looking everything up on my phone, and then, you know, five minutes down the way, somebody's buying like a big bulk of stuff that I could have got if I hadn't, you know, spent so much time looking a 50p book up. Do you know what I mean? Because I've had that a few times where people have kind of said, oh, you know, you shouldn't, why have you bought it? You should have just kind of checked 
checked it first. I'm like, if it's something, you know, where I'm spending a bit of money, then I always do check it first. But stuff like this, 50p book, £4.50 for the lot, it is not a risk to really to, to just buy them. So when it's something like that, I will just buy them. At the end of the day, if they're all worthless, then I've lost £4.50. It's not the end of the world. By just like messing around and spending ages looking them all up, I may not have got you know one of the good finds just down the way and you know lost a load of money doing that. Do you know what I mean? That's that's where I'm thinking about it anyway. So the Fallout book here, I just thought I'd quickly show you this because it's even cooler than I thought. Yeah, so as well as the good book and, and the map that you get, you get these cards as well, which would look pretty cool if you were to like frame them. They do have a bit of like discoloration here at the top, which is unfortunate, but I don't think it ruins them too much. Like some are worse than others, like you can barely see it on that one. But it's like from the game, you got luck, agility, intelligence. Obviously, if you've never played the game, this won't mean anything to you. But if you have, I'm sure you'll appreciate seeing these. And, you know, again, two quid. And we got the map. And it's just a really interesting book. And also the Fallout 4 soundtrack. I don't know if this, like, originally came with this or not. Or whether it's somebody's, like, just kind of randomly stuck it in here. I do not know. But another bonus. So you've got loads of different types. I remember these from my childhood. I had loads of these, including these two, including a lot of these actually, to be honest, the kind of whole the world tour stuff. I had all of them and I didn't have all of them, but I had a lot of them. That that really rings a bell as well, that little back, back into that. Little shiny ones. Um, I don't know how much money there are in these. I do have a load of my own still, but I've never really looked into them. You've also got all these like skip ones, which I don't think are going to be worth much. But yeah, I don't know. I thought they were kind of cool. Three quid is all I paid for them. I, mean, I figured it was worth a go. Hopefully, we've got a rarish one in here, but all else fails. You know, they'll just go as one big bulk lot, and I'm sure there'll be a bit of money in these. Childhood nostalgia right here. I absolutely love these things. I did. You had like the Taz, is it Tazos as well? Do you remember them? And there were lots of like different types. What are these called? Were these called Slammers? Were they called Slammers? I can't remember now. That one really brings back memories, that one. I think they came in different colours then. And just quickly a look at this. This kind of thing, like letter from home, little advertisements from the era. That's like a poster that, all sorts of things like that. We've got like each kind of, well, every few pages you get like a different thing. There's actually a lot more in here. I won't get it all out. I recently sold one of these to somebody in Australia for about 25, 30 quid plus a load of postage. It was a brand new sealed one though, but I only paid very little my boot sale for it. And then I picked another one up last year as well. Got all sorts there. I don't want to get it all out. Really interesting, actually. I might have a good look through this before I actually sell it. So, lastly, we have this. And this, I wasn't sure if this was like its original box or what. I mean, I kind of presumed that it wasn't. But, um, yeah, it does say somewhere on here... Like confectionery, I think. I'm pretty sure this is from a box of chocolates originally. Maybe biscuits or something. I'm pretty sure it'll be chocolates. So, yeah, the box, not original, but the contents right here. There's somebody's name there. I don't think that's any relevance to anything. But, yeah, I have no idea. I've never picked this up before. I don't know how many counters this should be or anything. I'll obviously look into this when I come to list it. But I'm hoping we got a full set. But I reckon maybe people would be after spares for this anyway, even if because there's a lot of obviously a lot of pieces to it. So I'm guessing people will lose them and stuff. So even if it's not complete, hopefully we can still do something with it. And it's one of them things that I know I have seen people sell these for a lot of money, but maybe not when they're in like an older chocolate box like this, you know what I mean? Maybe they've got like a nice display case and stuff. And I guess a lot of it is probably due to the age, who's made it, and the quality of the product. Um, the quality seems good. 
Age wise, I mean, I really have no idea. But I mean, if I had to hazard a random guess, like also basing it on, you know, the chocolate box, like seventies, I think I'd probably say seventies if I had to guess. But who knows? Who knows? You know, are these like made in China? Are they uh, a British made thing? Does that make any difference to the price? I'm guessing it does. Uh, what they made out of, I, you know, I do not know. I don't think that's wood. I don't think it's plastic. It seems like some kind of like, like resin. And this seems to be kind of carved into it and then painted, I think. I think. So today we have spent £131.90. And I think that's all right. I think we'll do okay there. Um, I've kind of cleared everything away now. Usually I will say, you know, this item or this item will bring us back, you know, a certain percentage of our money or whatever. Uh, but what I've got here, even like these dinosaurs and the books that are worth, you know, okay money and the games. If you just said them, then that will definitely make our money back. And then. Everything else you've seen will be profit. Uh, I mean, hopefully with a little bit of luck. Maybe just this, possibly. Probably not, but you know, you never know. Nice to see things like pogs out there. I don't think I've ever bought them from a boot sale before. So nice to kind of see that kind of thing out there. And yeah, what do you think about the Schleich? Would you have bought them all? Would you have tried to get, you know, a deal going? with all the stuff that he had. I mean, I did my best, and then I said, I went back later on in the boot sale, so it's, you know, he still had a lot of it still there. Um, but he was just after a bit, a little bit too much. I think I picked the good things out, and a few other people were there at the same time I was, and I think they picked a few good things out as well. But I'll leave this one there. If there's anything about this video that you enjoy, please do hit the like button. Watch some more videos. I've got loads of videos out there now. I'm coming up to like some like 200 videos, not far off 200 videos on this channel. So go and have a look at some of the other stuff I've got. I've got a few playlists. I've got a 2021 boot sale playlist, a 2022 boot sale playlist. You'll find all the boot sales I did in those two years on those playlists. I've also got some charity shop playlists and make a hundred pounds in your lunch break playlist go and check them out as well so i'll leave this one there for now if you enjoyed anything about this video please do hit the like button it really helps me out subscribe if you're not already subscribed and i'll see you in the next one